Yeah, I've been making some gains with these buggers. Let me show you what I've been doing. For training programs, meal plans, and coaching, make sure you check out KHP Fitness and Training.com. What's going on, my fitness seekers all over the world? KHP Fitness here, and I wanted to go ahead and bring you another video. Basically talking about how you can make a little bit more gains when it comes to that back and what I've been doing to do so as well. Now the craziest part is I even put this out because I got a good response on social media when I just showed them what I've been doing with these bands in these last three years and the parameters I've been putting into place and what I've been doing is just really keep the muscles up and show people that the bands really do work. Now you're probably looking at the thumbnail being like, well, I gotta, I gotta do more than back to grow my back. At least in the sense of what really gives you the look when you're showing off your back, when you're doing like lat spreads and everything like that, what really does it. So what I have is three moves that you can use to grow your back and get it to show you the way you want it to show when you're on the beach and you're having people look like, mm, what's going on over there? Then I'll show you a bonus move that'll go ahead and add to that look. Huh? Look at that. Look at me giving y'all guys extra. But before I show you all of that, you know what I want. You know what I want. Go ahead and hit that like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends all that good stuff, and let's go ahead and get on into it. All right, now take this picture. Now this is the picture that I was showing you that really got the reaction from the people. This is what I showed in the thumbnail as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and break it down bit by bit on what I use to flare out the lats, what I use to get the shoulders looking right, and also what I do to keep my waist nice and slim so everything gives you that 3D tapered kind of look, that X frame, as they like to call it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the top. Now, if you see, going from the shoulders on our way down, uh, the front delts, that's the big thing too. So when it comes to the front delts, you're gonna get those typically automatically if you do a lot of pressing motions. And so you don't have to worry about those as much. And if you hit them right and you got the good genetics, you're gonna get a look capped in your delts from that particular. But to really get that 3D look, you have to work the full shoulder. So we move over to the lateral head. And with the lateral head, what I did was lateral raises. A lot of lateral raises for that one there. Uh, pause reps, holes at the top, 30 second holds, taking them to failure. That's how I got the lateral heads to really start to pop out when it comes to those ticklers. But to really get the 3D effect, you really have to work those rear heads as well. And so what I did for that is I would go ahead anywhere between a medium and light to a heavy band to do a pull apart. And the version of pull aparts that I do is this version here. Where I would grab, just to grab with a supinated grip, I would do a pull apart with those, getting a good squeeze. And you'll see how that really activates the terrors, minors, majors, and rear delts of the head to really get that 3D flare when it comes down to it. Next, we got the traps. People would really ask me, what, what do you do for your traps, man? What are you doing? I was like, guys, those are just genetic. I don't really even do shrugs. Shrugs is not even a thing that I really do, to be honest with you. I just do pull aparts and when I exhaust the rear heads, when it comes down to the shoulders, the traps take over. And that's usually how I get my trap work. So it's just something that I genetically, just like my biceps, it's something that I genetically have that I just don't really have to work for. So I don't really focus on those really much. Like when you're trying to bring up weak parts, you focus on the weak parts, of course. And that'll be in my next video too. I'll be showing you guys that one. Then we go down to the lats. Now I have very high lats. I don't have the craziest looking lats because they're high, but I've been able to detail them enough with certain pulling motions to get at least that effect where I can have some spread and still give me that X taper look there. And how I would do those, I would do typically seated uh, pull downs. I would do like a virgin where I would lean over at the door, lean my body forward so I'm doing a pull down if I don't have something to hang from the top. And that would be a good little pull down version because the body don't know, it's all about angles. And that's how we get those. Pause reps, everything, all same parameters. Five, six sets, two times a week. That's usually how we do it. Moving down to the lower back, anything from deadlifts to stiff legs. A lot of stiff leg deadlifts, doing those movements, really hitting the hamstrings too, but really getting those erectors in the lower part of the back. And then of course, good diet from there. Good diet, that's what summed it up when it came to like my waistline. 
In this picture here, I'm about 209 pounds. I fluctuate between 207 to 210 at this current hour. Um, and with that, as I keep my, my waist nice and, and tight, those are the improvements I've been making. And as I told you before, the biggest thing is I did it all with bands. So all in all, if I wanted to go ahead and give you a complete breakdown of it, I did pull aparts, lateral raises, a bent over version of pull downs or a seated pull down version to get the lats, keeping that nice waist all tapered up from good diet and nutrition, watching my calories, a lot of cardio throughout the day, just like step in and stuff of that nature, nothing crazy, no running or anything. Very, very, very little steady state cardio of intensity, but I would do like some boxing and stuff, hit training, just kept the calories where they needed to be, kept the steps where they needed to be. And, I, and it paid off, man, it, it really paid off. So that's how I'm still getting these gains over all this time. Uh, my current weight, as I said, about 209 pounds last time I checked. I'm six foot two. I put on a good amount of mass over these years from being a little twig to getting some gains. And that's that's what the name of the game is, man. When it comes down to it, that's what I specialize in. Muscle building all the time so we don't look like shrimps anymore, man. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't want to make this too long. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As I said in the beginning of the video, I got more of these coming soon, guys. As I always say, it's not where you train, it's how you train. Keep it up, guys. You're stronger than you think you are. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.